Have you also become a victim of ambition and jealousy? Parents and teachers advise their kids to have an ambition in their life. Actually, if it is well aimed and supported by values, ambition is something healthy for self-esteem. But when one becomes over ambitious, it creates conflicts within the community. If a person is too much concerned about elevating his personal profile and leadership image, it would definitely harm the society. Especially when our political leaders are over ambitious, they would do anything to grab political power. Also, ambitiousness can create a sense of superiority and pride within the leader. In fact, excessive ambition can ruin one's personality. Competition and ambition for power will always bring disharmony and divisions within the society. Therefore, as Christians, we should not be ambitious for power and leadership. In today's readings also, Lord advises us to keep away from ambitious attitudes. In today's Gospel, once again Jesus tells his disciples about his passion, death and resurrection. However, the disciples did not understand what Jesus was telling. Instead, they were arguing with one another who would be the greatest among them. They were thinking that as the Messiah, Jesus would replace the political and religious leadership. They were expecting a new dawn of an earthly kingdom. The disciples were so ambitious and they were in a competition for the greatest position in that earthly kingdom. Jesus clearly understood their negative ambition. Although Jesus spent years with them, they were trying to be the first in the line, to dominate over the rest and to gain power. In contradiction to their ambitions, Jesus said, If someone wants to be the first, let him be the last and the servant of all. What a contrast! The ambition of the apostles for the first place and the utter submission of Jesus for the last place. Next, he placed a child in their midst and told, Whoever welcomes a child like this welcomes me. Instead of dominating over the other, Jesus invited his disciples to serve the least and the downtrodden in the society. In today's second reading also, St. James teaches us to stay away from jealousy and ambition. As St. James says, those cunning men are filled with jealousy and ambition. Eventually, it will create conflicts and disharmony within the community. This passion for power will make one dominate over the other. In contrast, he advises us to work with wisdom, to show understanding and listen to the advice of others. Such leaders would be peacemakers and finally they would reap the harvest of justice. If we look at the current situation, we observe how ambitious and jealous our leaders are. Especially, the political leaders are so corrupt that they would do any mean thing to win the elections. Vicious political ambitions have gone to the extreme of murder, conspiracy and betrayal of one's own people. In order to come to power, those politicians are ready to run their campaigns over the dead bodies of the innocent people. If our leaders are so vicious and ambitious, what about the others? When your leaders are corrupt, you cannot expect the citizens to be sincere and honest. Today, our Lord teaches us not to run after power, position, ranks and fame. Jealousy, competition and ambitiousness can creep into any organization. It would be in your company, in your campus, in your school or even in your parish church. Therefore, we should be careful not to become victims of jealousy and ambition. It is not our job our titles, our positions that count. Whatever we do, we should be sincere, honest and service-oriented. Today, Jesus tells us, if you want to be the greatest in the kingdom of God, do not compete for power and position, but be a servant leader and serve the downtrodden and the marginalized in the society. Welcome those who are lowly and poor. Serve them without considering their status. If you want to be the greatest, be the servant of all.